everyone! So I'm really bored, so I'm filming a video about a week and a half early. I'm going to be making a mason jar lamp like this one. It turns on, it turns off, and it's just really cool. I've always loved mason jars, and I like making my own things, and so this is how to make a mason jar lamp. Now unfortunately my desk base is quite full with all my crystal making supplies that are in my previous video because I haven't posted nor finished that video yet. We are waiting for these guys to grow. So we're going to be building this on the floor. Alrighty so I have all the pieces all ready to go. I have one mason jar, I have two mason jar lids with holes cut in them, um, and you just align them like this so that the hole's in the middle, and you can screw it on with our mason jar top, and it should look just like that. I also have one awesome looking LED and one candelabra base socket from Home Depot. I believe some bulbs don't do well in an enclosed area so you might want to check on that and I'm only going to include this into the video if I research this and find out that some bulbs don't do well. However, I do know that these bulbs will be fine because I have tested it with other lamps. So here's my candelabra socket cord. Um, I actually don't like this black piece right here, the squeezy bit. So I'm actually going to take that off. Maybe some pliers. came off just like that. And now I probably need to cut it. Hmm. Huh. Tough stuff. Let's try bending it. Ah! Bending it. That works. So, now that we've removed that, we are going to start assembling. So, we're going to screw our light socket onto our light. And you know what, before we do anything else, let's make sure this turns on. It turns on! Alright, so, now that that works, we're gonna move on to step two. Step two, putting the light inside the mason jar. So I got two lids. Um, I cut them a little shape. Uh, it was really easy to do. You can cut it with scissors. Um, that's what I used. And we're just going to put the cord so that it's inside this hole. So, we are just going to put the light upside down. We're going to slide one on this way. And we're going to slide the other one on the other way. line them up just right and then we're gonna hot glue them for a little added security just where the lamp base meets the lid so right here we're gonna add a little bit of hot glue had to turn on my hot glue gun just pull it out hot glue around the base Hopefully it doesn't solidify before I push the light bulb in. Just do a lot of hot glues. And then we'll pull it so that it's sticking straight up so that the hot glue can dry in a nice good position that we want it to be in. And it has the added benefit of pulling some hot glue into the hole, which will help us in the long run. I'm also going to add just a dab of hot glue to the top. Not much, because I don't want it to be very visible. 
but just enough to keep it from falling through. Alrighty, now that our hot glue is dry, we're going to put it into the mason jar like so. And we're going to take the lid, we're going to slide it over our cord. Oh look, there's some hot glue stuff, that's great. And we're just going to screw it on, just as we would any other mason jar. And we'll plug it into the wall. And we'll turn it on. There you have it, a mason jar lamp. And it took me all of 10 minutes to do this. Um, maybe 20 if you've never made one before. I got the light and the cord at Home Depot. Uh, I own the mason jar already, but I'm sure you can find them. They sell them at Publix, they sell them at Kroger. I'm sure you can find them at Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Um, simple, easy, awesome. Thank you for watching my video and see you again next week.